Airsofters, this is Tactical Donut. This is Redneck Operator. This is our loadout video. Welcome to Millsim Talk. We're going to present you guys a guest today. He's a good friend of ours. His name is Gucci. Why don't you tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? How's it going, everybody? I'm Gucci. I'm the founder and commander of Southwest Operators. And I'm here with my two best friends in the world. And we're just going to cry all day about our gear. <laughs> I cry. Do you cry? I cry myself to sleep every night, bro. I cry myself in a river. <laughs> and I'm Cuban, so that's good for me. <laughs> so who's the first one that's going to be uh, doing the whole load up? So you want to go with me first, Redneck? You know what? Sure, man. I'll go first, guys. All right, guys. So basically, I'm going to walk us through this, guys. I'll take us through the waist up, and then Gucci you here is going to take us from the waist uh, up to the waist down. I'll go boots to waist. Boots to waist. Okay. Guys, I'm going to do... <laughs> That's all we got to get ah. <laughs> Here, let me do this. So guys, pretty much we're going to give you a, we're going to do like a, pretty much, oh great, now you're fucking up. Uh, a loadout video, a loadout video. I got we're you, gonna do, I got you, here we go again. <laughs> okay, no worries. All right guys, I'm going to take care of the boots all the way to our belts. Gucci here is going to take from our belts all the way up to our head gear. And then Donut is going to take care of our weapons, our bags, and our special our special equipment that we have all on our gear. So, that being said, I'm going to go and jump into it, guys. So the first thing, guys, we got our boots. Guys, this is probably the most important part of your gear, just because of, you got to protect your feet, you got to take care of your feet, you got crabby boots, it's not, it's just not going to work out. The big important thing, guys, is what's going to work for you. So, Donut, tell me what kind of boots you have. I am using the 511 Tech Tech uh, 6 inch Coyote Brown Boots. These things are fantastic. I've had them for a while. Uh, I've been broken on three of them in a lot of airsoft games. But uh, what, what are you using over there? I actually have the Coyote Brown Smith & Wesson boots, guys. Uh, I like them because they give me high ankle support. They're really light, really durable, and they're waterproof, as I found out of Broken Home 3. Worked really well. Thank you. I got myself some 8 inch Loa Zephyrs. They're the ones featured in Armor 3, actually. These boots are really lightweight, really comfortable, and have really great support for your ankle, which which is great because you're gonna be sprinting through all kinds of stuff, and you don't want to roll that. That's Kevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> know what's up? <laughs> By the way, guys, the reason we call him Gucci is because he has all the coolest stuff. Like, if there's something new, he's already got it. Like he had it two weeks before it came out. It's like government paycheck, man. So this guy's like the founder of Cry in this area. He, he, he is. He is. It's the Cry father. <laughs> all right, guys. So for the pants, guys, we're all three rocking the same thing. I guess great for uh, my pants parties. Is it ugly? Like Take it off. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. All right. So, guys. Great minds must think alike, guys, because we all got the same set of knee pads, the Airflex knee pads, and we've all got the Gen 3 cry pants. Guys, these things are great. You got a little bungee cord here so you can pull your knee up. You got a little pouch, a little strap right here so you can strap your knees in, strap down here. You got pouches all over the place that are very convenient. They're not they're not placed in random places. And my favorite thing is the stretchable fabric around your crotch crotch area. Because the big thing, guys, is these these pants they go through a lot of hell. I've ripped three pants before I went cry. And I'll be honest, guys, I'll never go back. So it's well worth the money. Doesn't mean you gotta wear it to be an operator or an airsofter. Airsofter, I don't want to say Doesn't mean you gotta buy these to be an airsofter. But nonetheless, guys, they're very worth it. And for belts, guys, guys, I mean, I'm, I'm rocking the Griffin belt. Yeah, it's a little cheapy belt. I love it, though. I've got the dump house right here on it. I've got four mags right here on it. And then on this, I've got my Weapons catch, so when I pull up my pistol, I can throw it in here so it's not flopping around. And for those that don't want that, I'm wearing the, the True Spec Riggers belt that you can get at any military surplus store, any gear store, honestly. Okay. My belt, I'm using the Blackhawk uh, Riggers belt. It's pretty simple. I've had it for a year and a half. It's pretty cool. Holds up to all the uh, hard work you got to do. So, <laughs> you guys want to go into combat belts or is this something else? Yeah, go into combat belts. All right. Well, for me, I'm using the ABS low profile belt. Uh, this thing is pretty awesome. I have the suspenders with it. And uh, you want to go like on everything on the belt, or sure, if you want to. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm using it for a side. I'm using my uh, KGW P226 with the Blackhawk Serpa, and this side I got two LBT 40 mic mic pouches with the uh, uh, Nola. Is it 
Fucking smoke grenade, whatever the brand is. What? Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> and for the dump pass, we're using the cry dump pass, pretty cool. Well, and then on this side, I got the LPT uh, utility pouch. I bought my green gas and all that junk. Uh, it's pretty pretty awesome belt setup. I love it. It works. Uh, go ahead and talk about yours. Me, yeah, I have a crime precision high back blast belt. As you can see, nice and comfy. Supports my pack. It's great. It's all stuff on. I got some Condor dump pouches, which goes to show that we don't really need everything to be fancy and stuff. Condor's a really great company. Got me some 40 Mike Mike pouches here for my 40 Mike Mike. Oh. Hey, Mike Mike. <laughs> Good. And uh, Tony. All right, so guys. Um, I already went over my, my belt, my little Griffin dump pouch belt, but my sidearm is conveniently placed here. I'll go over that in a second, the next round, but as of right now, guys, I've really got nothing else on my, on my belt. Oh, my little cry ghillie, I've got a little pouch in the very back on the belt, and that's where I can take this off. It fits in. It's a little ball like that. Convenience! Dead. Very convenient, guys. Very convenient. All right, Gucci, I'm going to go over your uh, beautiful PC force. Yes, I do, and thank you. I am wearing the Cry Precision Generation 3 Cage Armor. This is a beautiful vest. I can actually vouch for this in combat too. I wore it in Afghanistan. This vest is very light, and very solid. It keeps it tight to your body so it doesn't bounce around. Bouncing around sucks, you know. It, it just makes you more tired and it's really uncomfortable. This does not do that. Also, there's like a good little one inch gap right here on this front uh, plate pouch. That's good. In case you're ever using this in real life and you get shot here. Put a little space so all that force doesn't hit you. Other than that, the airflow is wonderful. And this right here, this beautiful, this beautiful Coyote Brown piece of awesomeness here is the Cry ABS, the adaptable vest system, right? Yep, that's correct. Uh, this is the Cry ABS. I recently got it, and uh, it's a little expensive, not expensive as his. That thing is way too expensive for me, but uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, I got the plate, ba uh, plate bags, got the harness and everything. I got uh, magazine pouches, all that uh, Blue Force gear. I'm also using uh, LPT pouches for my Garmin and my radio and my tornado. And then for the back sector, I have the uh, Mayflower uh, Assault Back Type 1, I forget what it's called, but that's what it is. And uh, it's a pretty awesome vest. I love the ABS. I highly recommend it. It's very comfortable. Uh, it breathes very well. It's lightweight. If you want something that's really awesome, it's a little expensive, but if you want something really awesome, I recommend saving up for this. Uh, this tell, me, tell me something about these pouches right here. Oh, okay, so like I said, this, this is the, uh, the front right here, the first three. Is the Blue Force gear, uh, was it the Tan Whisper pouch, I forget what it's called, but I think that's what it is. And underneath, I also got the uh, Tactical Tailor uh, M4 shingle pouch, like three of them. So I just have it up front. I have six pouches, or uh, yeah, six pouches from magazines. It's pretty awesome, I love it. And then I, got, I also have a uh, Blue Force gear cat holder for my cat tourniquet, just for looks. Can't go wrong with this. You can never go wrong with Tactical Tailor, honestly. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And if you want something really lightweight, Oh, right neck operator right here. So my hand went off, so that way Got I can get you, guys, you guys get a good view of it. All right, guys. So this is the Cry Chest Ring. This just became available to the public literally two months ago. Uh, only available for special forces operators. Uh, now it's available towards us. It's a great little, uh, great little piece of equipment, guys. I love chest rings. Uh, I like to run light. I'm the DMR team, DMR. Uh, guys, I love it. I mean, it feels so great. It feels so comfortable. Um, I ran a condor for two years, and I loved it. Nothing wrong with it. It's a great chest rig for the price. And I had the triple, triple kangaroo pouch. It was great. But I wanted something a little more, a little more comfortable because it will start to go. So let me go over. So I've got the way this guy runs around. Yes, true. So I've got two admin pouches. Guys, here's the nice thing about these admin pouches. I can 2,000 rounds of BB, okay, for our sponsors. Uh, Courtesy of, uh, whoop, <laughs> look at that. BB, <laughs> BB <laughs> Bastard. So. I can't get it over there, but there we go. Oh, That's our sponsor, yeah. Stevie Bastard. Thanks, right. guys. So thanks, guys. You guys have been real great to us. And we really appreciate it. So I've got my, my Garmin radio here, match. which don't out here. We'll go over some of the pieces of the Garmin. But i got my Garmin radio in here. Uh, probably in here as well. But I've got 4,000 rounds of BBs. I don't even feel it. I've got my speed loaders. I even got a couple small tools in here, so in case I've got to break down the gun. I can carry eight mags here, OK? Um, Got a little cinch here for my hydration too. Here's what I like, I really love about this. This is a holster for my pistol. Okay? It's not anywhere else, it's un unconven inconvenient. Yeah, I do lose the quick draw. But guys, I pull this thing pretty quick. Okay? 
quick enough that if I'm going to use it, okay, and that's when I put my, my rifle in the weapon catch, and it goes in pretty easily. I'm just, I'm just fumbling around with it because I'll be honest, I haven't had a lot of time to play to mess with it. Okay? And to those in the military, it's over an AOTB where your usual issue of flag nest. It yeah. does actually, oh, that's what I have. Go. Hello. Blooper. Hello. This guy, the guys, I also got the Y yoke harness. You can't even see it because it's right chest right. Um, it doesn't come with a harness. All right, but it's nice because it can actually go on the ABS here if you wanted to do it. It actually fits for both. So I've got the Y yoke harness. On the back, you can see, guys, I do have the cry assault gilly. Okay. So this, beautiful. This is probably my pride and joy, guys. I love this. Um, it's, use, it's very effective, guys. It doesn't look like it's effective. Of course, everyone thinks, like, oh, it's an old leaf camo. Guys, it's real effective. I um, already had it in use, and I've had guys walk literally right over me. And it's just, for what it's worth, I breathe well, it's light, and I can take it off and put it in this little pouch back here, and it works great. I've also got, and I love Condor packs, I've got the Condor assault pack with the hydration pouch on it. Guys, it works great for me. I can put a couple extra tools back, back there. Um, you know, I've got some vinyls that I actually keep back there, and I actually have spare batteries. That's what keep my spare batteries. So, all in all, guys, it's a very light loadout. I breathe well, and I can stay maneuverable, which is the most important part for me being a DMR, DMR role player. Here we go. Back. Uh, let's go over headgear. All right. So, this is the FMA Aramid uh, Maritime. It's a copy of the Osprey Maritime's one to one replica. Uh, I absolutely love this. It's very cool. This is. Uh, I said it's Aramid, so it weighs almost like the real thing. Uh, on the cover, I got the first beer, uh, solid multicam cover. And I got the Emerson Mantle Straw, uh, the Contour Roam. Uh, MSA sword in with the arc rail adapter and the Sierra Gen 2 adapters. So we're making it mount on here. I also have a counterweight, uh, MBG counterweight pouch on the back. I actually love this helmet, but this is, I mean, as cool as it is, it's not as cool as a real Cry airframe. This is the Cry Precision airframe helmet. This is a wonderful, wonderful helmet. It's got a little, it's got a little slit back here, allow airflow through it. I guess that's why they call it the airframe. I don't know. It's awesome. <laughs> With an MS 2000 strobe and a counterweight, same mount as his, only black, and the Smith Optics. Uh, what are they? Boogies. Yeah. Now these are called the chops. These are a, a frag-proof face shield, pretty much. You look like Spartan when you put it on. It's awesome. You should put it on it. All right. Sure. Here we go. Come on, Spartan. I am. <laughs> there we go. It does not get in the way of anything. I, I love this thing to death. I reached out here and put that on, but I don't because I don't take it off. Very lightweight helmet. It's actually a couple ounces lighter than the Army issue helmets. Yeah. Actually, I think a whole pound lighter is like two and a half pounds. It is like 20% lighter than the mm -hmm. ACH. It's wonderful. And it comes with a Cry Precision. Uh, it does not come with it. My apologies. This is the Cry Precision airframe cover. It fits perfectly over it. Oh, wow! Whoa! <laughs> but it's so convenient. It's so convenient. It's got these little elastic straps in it. Little slits so you can put leaves and camouflage stuff or Tony's beard. Oh, sorry. And Redneck's beard. <laughs> so, guys, they've got their helmets. Guys, I love my ball caps. Okay? So, in true operator style, I have the Cry Precision Operator Ball Cap. Okay? It's light. It works really well, guys. Um, I've actually got the Gold to too. Mount, so it actually slides on and I can still get the video. Uh, works really well. We've actually already stress tested in the field. Works great. Hasn't fallen on me yet. And it's just a really good solid piece of, you know, just, it's great. I love my ball caps. You know, and of course, you know, I've got my little uh, broken home, little tab. Where's yours? Work. Uh, work? I was at work. I'm sorry. You know what? That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, guys, so let's get to our uh, weapons here. This is my primary. This is the KWA KM4 Dev Group. I absolutely love this. It's an uh, awesome weapon. Externally, as you can see here, I got a Magnum Plus, a Trichicon uh, TA38 color, it's a real one. I like real optics. And uh, FMA PEC 15. Also got some more uh, Magpul RBG and a Magpul uh, XT Rail cover. The only thing that's missing right now is my Surefire. It's coming back from Surefire right now for repairs. So that'll be on soon. And for a sling, I like using my uh, Blue Force Gear Bigger Combat Application Sling. I absolutely love this. It's very nice. It's padded. And, uh, and for secondary, like I said, this is my KJW PG26. Wow, got so many kills with it. It is uh, a massive blast to use. 
Alright, and then we got uh, Gucci's M4 over here. This is the KW AKM4. Go ahead and uh, tell them about the accessories and everything. Alright, guys, well, start from, the, uh, start from the front. Got the suppressor here hiding the the uh, longer Type 4 inner barrel that I got in there. We have a Surefire attack light as well. And the, what do you call this, Kenton? Uh, the Magpul uh, XTM rail cover. This guy. Yep. I also got myself the Attack Vector Optics green laser and infrared laser uh, pointers. Got standard Knights Armament gangster grip, as we like to call in the Army. I have an Elcan Spectre DR uh, 4x32 scope. Got myself a nice magpul stock down here at the uh, ACS. And what, what are the pretty things I have on this thing? Oh, yeah, this guy. It's just a two spec one point swing. Alright, guys, so, guys, unlike the guys who have the assault guns, um, I got a DMR, okay? Mine is the Mag GMP Magpul Edition M4. Okay, uh, guys, when I get a gun, I usually gut them, and that's what I've done with this one. There's nothing in it that was stock. Uh, gears, a gearbox, of course. Uh, motor, we kept with the GMP motor. I actually like the motor. Tight board barrel, um, I've got my Surefire right here. GMP ACOG, uh, got the UBR stock. I mean, the entire gun is back. Okay, it's a great gun. I even use the GMP uh, mags, and that's what I run. Guys, it's, a, it's a, such a solid gun. Um, I'm reaching out to 275, you know, first shot, I may be able to pop someone, and I, I really love this gun. Um, I am missing my vertical grip, I'm actually having it in the mail, it's on the way. Um, other than that, guys, it's just a solid gun. We all play our roles differently, and mine is just basically popping from the back while these guys make sure I'm running and get the kills. And my sidearm, I also have a KJW226. So brand new, I haven't even painted the orange tip. Shame on me. Love this gun, guys. Uh, of course, my mag is actually in my gear bag. Um, we actually lost it, found it a week ago, that was pretty cool. Woo! Love this gun. Mm -hmm. Very solid, uh, very accurate guys, exact, everything I want in a pistol. Now one thing I forgot to mention is the Garter M320 grenade launcher. Right now it's in its standalone configuration. What I gotta do is, uh, I'm not gonna do it now, but what I gotta do is pop off this little awesome butt stuff it comes with and pop it onto this. Oh. Yeah, sure it has a little bit of weight, but this is a wonderful weapon. It opens up to the side just like the real thing. It closes just like the real thing. <laughs> this is supposed to be on that side, but that's okay because it's got flip-up sights. Oh. Very comfortable, and you can change them around. Just like the real thing. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised your 320 launcher doesn't cry. Yeah, but it cries. <laughs> it's going to make people cry, I'll tell you that. So let's move on to this. That's just real quick. Uh, let's Talk about things we didn't really get into. Um, for magazines, I like using the uh, KWA K120 uh, mid caps. Also, have the Ranger plates on them, so I know they're mine. Some of them want to use the Ranger plates, but I actually love these magazines. They feed almost everything. It's uh, they work pretty well. Uh, for radio, right now we're transitioning to a new style of radios. Uh, we are using the Baofeng UBR uh, UB5R. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. I have it uh, programmed and everything. I can't pull it out though, but it is cool. It's an awesome radio, and uh, we're going to work to transition towards that. Um, we got a bladder, we have a brand of this though, and I got a PTT, pretty cool stuff. That's pretty much it, let's want to talk about everything else in detail, but what accessories do you want to talk about? Your well, one thing I do want to talk about, it's a useful little doohickey right here, is the Tasmanian Tiger uh, for our admin pouch. You can put all kinds of maps, objectives, all kinds of crazy stuff in here, as you can see I have a map right here. And it folds and conveniently like so, so it's not that big a deal, it doesn't rub off on anything. Little Garmin right here if you want to, a little Garmin Fortrex. And it's just really useful if you're like a team leader, commander, etc. Or if you just want to have the objectives on your arm, or just make sure your wife is on the arm. Guys, I keep a lot of my gear, it's pretty much what I use. Uh, I do have my Garmin radio, Garmin 120. It works great, guys, if you put the points in. I actually had all the points in and broken home three, so I was actually able to trick a little trail blazing and actually find us right on the objectives. So, myself and Red and uh, Jack Donut, we both have one. Um, like I said, we're transitioning over to the Bellbang radios. It's a great set of radio, got a lot of, uh, a lot of good success and a lot of good, uh, just positive vibes from it in the Airsoft Millsim community. So, that's what we're going with now. Other than that, guys, you know, I want to thank you for coming to our, our loadout video. You know, guys, just because we're wearing all cry here does not mean that's what you got to wear, guys. If you wear the Condor, guys, make it work for you. Remember, it's not the gear that makes the air softer, it's the air softer that makes the gear.
we support all companies, Condor, True Respect, Lancer Tactical, you got to go with what your wallet can afford. And you know what, guys? We look forward to seeing you guys on the field. Again, we want to thank our sponsors, BB Bastard. Okay? They've been great to us up in Canada. You know, go check out their website, guys. They sell some really good quality BBs. And you know what, guys? I want to thank you for coming to Milsim Talk. I'm Redneck Operator. I'm Gucci. This is Tactical Donut. Or Pop Me Smoke. Get into it. <laughs> like <Sandstorm>? <laughs> <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> I got it. Oh, great.